Hey, happy Final Fantasy Friday, everybody. Uncle Wooly here for part three of Crisis Core, and it feels like it's been ages. Uh, when you go from doing every Friday morning bright and early to, well, two weeks off, it just threw me way off. So it's so good to be back on schedule. Uh, Katie, Maddest, Plummies, good morning, everybody. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Happy Pints Day. We made it through the week, right? Grab your cups, whether it's coffee, tea, if you're hitting the beer already. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Good morning. And for those unaware, as if I haven't been gushing about it all week long, uh, Final Fantasy VII turned 26 this week on the 31st. Um, so I've been kind of celebrating all week with that. Um, back here, I do have the 25th anniversary vinyl. Uh, I have been reading the On the Way to a Smile book. Um, absolutely my favorite game. Tons of great lore to it. If you want to catch up with the audiobooks, that's over on my YouTube channel. Uh, I do have all of episode Denzel out. I will be recording more soon. Uh, so please check that out if you haven't already. It's uh, something that I had a lot of fun recording. It's a, it's a great story. I may have cried once or twice. Okay, three times. Who's counting anyway? <laughs> yeah, I literally just wrapped up a work call really quickly. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. Excellent, excellent. And Pwummies, thank you for 10 heckin' months that I don't even know how the time has gone that quickly. Um, but please name that Twitch baby because it, it has gone unnamed for at least a month. And that's... That's too long. <laughs> that baby needs a name, all right? <laughs> so if you haven't taken the journey of Final Fantasy VII and you're not really into the turn-based uh, kind of thing, um, the remake is out, and it's wonderful. It's also out for PC for those PC players. Um, there are mods for the original game if you want to play it, but maybe you want something with a little higher fidelity. And... Um, Suna Mods, which is one of the big uh, modding communities for Final Fantasy VII, they're working on a project of all voice acting uh, for the original game. So I don't know all the details on that, but I'll, I'll look it up this weekend and share it on Discord because it's heckin' awesome. And that might be how I play through um, the OG Seven before Rebirth comes out uh, this next winter because that's they said winter of 23... I'm guessing early 24, but we'll see, right? We'll see. But it's great to be back with Final Fantasy Friday. I have missed it a lot. Um, so the two things I did while I was gone was we went to Distant Worlds, Final Fantasy 35th Anniversary Coral. It was celebrating the 35th anniversary of the uh, gaming franchise of Final Fantasy. So all the music from all of the games, it was so delightful. I... <laughs> I love those concerts so much. So if you ever get a chance to go to a orchestral performance of anything, just do it. It's so good. It is so good. It just fills the soul, you know. And then the following weekend, I went to a, a pirate festival and saw a real life pirate ship. So <laughs> at least I, I made it uh, worthwhile to miss Final Fantasy Friday. So thank you all for uh, um, hanging out while I while I was away. It's much appreciated. <laughs> All right, without further ado, I'm gonna stop blabbering on and we're gonna get into some Crisis Core, catch up with our friend Zach, who uh, just went through some rough times at the uh, the hometown of Angel, so. And the music is a lot less chill <laughs> than the typical prelude of Final Fantasy Fridays. I have so much to do today, which I don't want to do. This is a perfect distraction. Well, as long as I don't get any of the blame from the distraction, completely okay with that. <laughs> completely okay with that. All right. So we were... Wow, 6.50 a.m. on the 13th. It's been that long. It's already last month since we played this game. Oh, an interview. Well, definitely wishing you all the best and uh, definitely 
don't let me distract you from interview prep. Um, can we get hearts, GGs, all of the just well wishes you can place in chat for Katie? Wishing her the very, very best with the interview today. Nah, nah. You're you're gonna be uh, you're gonna pass it with aces, guaranteed. Guaranteed. All right. I don't even remember what I was doing. So maybe we should look at our mail. Nah, nothing new there. See, well, in this game, they have the one winged angel, and he wings it. But don't don't wing it the entire way. And you won't be winging it truly because you have how many years of life experience put into where you are now. So it's technically you've been preparing for it the entire way, right? So you're not even winging it just by winging it, you know? And that is Wooly's deep thought of the day. <laughs> Now that I got that out of the way so early, I can uh, let Pine stay be a little brainless for myself, right? Hey, Zach. <laughs> so, the war is over. That it is. I'm sure you heard. I ruled. No, I didn't hear. The company reports don't mention you at all. On TV, they only talk about Sephiroth's bravery. But Sephiroth was in B unit. Well, our heroes are chosen by the media. Dreams crushed. <laughs> oh, Zach. You're such a puppy dog, and I love it. Okay. So I need to change the audio levels here. Uh, so let's bring down sound effects. And maybe background music just a bit. Because I think voice still needs to be up. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, come on. Cheer up, will ya? All right, and we got a... Oh, hey, here we go. We hereby declare the end of the war with Wutai. Worthy of note is Sephiroth. Soldier First Class, whose contributions were instrumental in bringing about a peaceful resolution with the minimum, minimum of casualties. The end of this war marks the beginning of distribution and further development of Mako throughout all regions. The Shinra Company is dedicated to these goals and will continue to achieve them by any means possible. President Shinra. Raven, welcome in. Good morning. Good morning. It is going very, very well. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. The long war has finally come to an end. All thanks to the heroic efforts of by Sephiroth and everyone in Soldier. However, the air around Shinra remains tense. Threats from powerful armed forces and anti-Shinra elements are too numerous to list. We could deem these distortions born out of Shinra's meteoric rise to glory. And we, as members of Shinra, must always face these distortions with integrity. I hope you keep this in your hearts as you continue in your duties. Man, company brainwashing is strong in Shinra. <laughs> Raven, hopefully you're doing well, my friend. It is good to see you in chat. I have, uh, I have missed Final Fantasy Fridays and being able to uh, hang out with my friends in the Eastern time zones. Hopefully you're doing well too because uh, I missed uh, seeing you yesterday. So hopefully you're feeling uh, a bit better if you were feeling under the weather. Ever since the Wu-Tai War ended, Director Lazard has been permanently holed up in the director's office. Oh. Must be doing paperwork or something. If you want to go to the director's office, take the elevator. Ah, so that's what I need to do. Do you really think you can hack it in soldier the way you are now? Do you really Do you really think? 
Do you really think you can hack it in, soldier, the way you are now? Sorry, sir. You don't seem to get the most important thing about being a soldier member. <laughs> yeah, that is Chip Button. <laughs> you better uh, file for infringement, Mattist. You better think on it. What's going on? You're not a familiar face. Are you a rookie third class? I'm Zach, by the way, yeah? Yes, I just joined Soldier last month. But it's like I can't do anything right. I seem to only get in other people's way. That's why he was just yelling at me. Hey now, you're Soldier. Don't give up so easily. But he said I'd be thrown out if I screw up the next mission. I think I just don't have what it takes. Ah, oh, come on. You made it this far, right? I know, but... You're so wishy-washy. Tell you what, I'll go on your next mission for you. What? You do that? Just keep it quiet. Watch what I do out there and learn from it, okay? Yes. No, see, Zach, you're an enabler, okay? I I appreciate what Zach is doing here, but he needs to not enable this person. He needs to bring them with on the mission and have them fight alongside him so they can actively work on active learning instead of... Because uh, at this point, that person has already done a lot of, I'll call it passive learning or classroom learning, um, watching battles. Uh, they're not going to learn anything by that. They need to be in the battle with Zack. Um, be a better teacher, Zack. I'm sorry. I, I get that you're trying to help the uh, help the dude out, but I, I'm not supporting uh, you enabling that. <laughs> Morite was very sick. Apparently, a little more. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Can we get some hearts in chat for Raven? I'm glad you're feeling a bit better today, though. Definitely uh, hydrate, get some rest, definitely get some rest, and uh, hopefully you're well soon. Uh, let's see here. Which which mission was that? Regincho. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, I better hydrate too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Cheers. Oh, I love the music in this game. Activating combat mode. All right, how do I play again? Oh, guard. Okay, that's not attack. Square is attack. All right, no MP cost. Uh... I am a big fan of the music in this game. It's got a little more uh, modern feel to it. I'm enjoying the combat. It's just getting used to the whole uh, DMW thing, um, but then making proper Activate use of that. Okay, they're weak to fire. No physical attack. Oh, nice. Just hammer away while that's active. Oh, we got no physical attack again. Take that. Got him. Oh, that's magic, though. There we go. Nice. Oh, man. So we got Thunder Materia. Oh, cool. Materia Hunter Zack. Reporting for duty. Okay, we did that one. 
Now what about... Ooh, HP up. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Got some mechanics to get into, but it, yeah, it is very satisfying. Uh, during missions, like normal field situations, you can move around the map and engage in battle. The, time, the game is over when you are incapacitated, but you are given the option to start the battle over after reviewing your equipment. Okay. You clear a mission by defeating the boss indicated on the map. Yeah, don't I already know this stuff? Sometimes I feel like the uh, tutorial stuff gets a little heavy-handed. trying to tell me that I can go anywhere. Activating combat mode. There we go. Oh yeah. Result. Oh wow. That was quick. So the combat kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy 15 in a way. I know this came out before 15 did. Activating combat mode. But in many ways, it reminds me of 15. With like a blend of 7 Remake. Complete resolved. Oh, yeah. If that makes any sense. It's more akin to 7 Activating Remake, but. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Take that! Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go. Activating combat mode. Uh oh, I'm poisoned. Come on. Conflict result. I don't like how slow uh oh, yeah. oh, I could have kept going. I should have uh kept going the other way. Yeah, very much like Dynasty Warriors. I haven't played too much of that franchise, only uh a few demos, but I can agree with that. Definitely uh has some some of the uh Dynasty Warriors vibes to it. Oh, we get Bahamut materia from it. Oh, we should do that. We should do that. So that's where we left off uh, last stream as we defeated Bahamut. Activating combat mode. Oh, wow. I'm doing very poorly. Better run for it! Prove your honor to me. I should have saved that for when he was uh, gearing up to do his summon attack. I need to remember that. Be a little more strategic. Ooh, 
Ooh, no AP or MP. There we go. Got him down at least a little bit. <laughs> I should have saved the uh, limit break for that sequence. Oh, these are so cool. They did such a great job with these uh, big summon moves. I love it. No matter how much it hurts. Oh, I have zero MP? Really? I can dodge that. Yeah. Take that. Ah! Uh, let's see. We need to use one of those two. Oh, had time to hit. Oh. Okay, we're good. Wow. Come on, Zach. <laughs> this one's tough. that one. Ah! Oh, nope. Ah! Nope, we died. We dead. <laughs> Alright, Wooly, save your... You know, let's try it again. Just with the same equipment. Save the limit break for when his ability comes up. I'm doing much worse this round. This is about chapter three, I think, is where I left off. And he was at the end of chapter two, I think. But he's definitely tougher than when I faced him in the main game. So this is more kind of like simulation round kind of stuff.
Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Yeah, this one is a tough one. That's a good time to do a limit break. Here we go. Go, go. go. Good time. Nope. I did poorly. I'm probably going to die. Maybe I should do this one later. <laughs> this almost feels as rough as Bahamut in uh, Final Fantasy IV. Not dead yet. We are dead now, though. Oh, so Mega Flare zaps all my MP and AP. Okay, let's um, just try that one later, I think. I think we're just a little underleveled for that one. Just a little bit. All right, which one was the mission from this guy? Coast Guard is spotted... No, that's not it. <laughs> or is it just on this one? Peacekeeping troops... Let's try this one. So you can definitely tell that this was a PSP game. Uh, Activating combat just based on some of the missions feel like they were made for a handheld system. You know, something that was kind of meant to play on the go. That are just kind of not as closely tied into the story. Take out enemies with one blow. Now, do it. One blow, all right? I could use a demo. Fine, let's do this. Yes, got it in one blow. That one was too weak. Now, again. Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. Raven, did you feel that way on your uh, on your playthrough so far? That some of the missions felt a little bit uh, kind of hollow, for lack of a better term. Battle system is great though, so that kind of like overcomes the. Uh, the hollowness of some of the side missions, I think. Activating combat mode. Take that! Got him! Conflict resolved. Later! Oh yeah! Oh, can't go that way. So we go this way. We press on. Activating combat mode. Yeah, I need to equip my fire materia. Could have used that in the last mission and this one. Well, not the Bahamut mission, but uh, the other desert-looking one. Thankfully, short 
and I just do a chunk in between main story and combat. Oh, yeah. Out. It kind of breaks it up. It, it does feel good. The combat feels good enough that the side missions aren't so bad. And it's good to uh, kind of get some extra Actually, items and things, mode. too. Yeah. For your other missions. Later. Oh, wow. I need to heal. I've just been tanking everything. <laughs> so anyway, I started blasting. Hey. Conflict result. Oh, yeah. Activating combat mode. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. Hot. Take that. Yeah. Hot. Got him. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. The leveling is strange, though, so those aren't familiar with the leveling. It's done through the, the DMW, like the little uh, reels that go up in the corner. Uh, that is the leveling system in this game. So it's all based on luck, really. And the more you That's battle, the more you have a chance at leveling up. Oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. All right. I admit that you bested us in today's training. But the troops that participated in the exercise are amateurs. Many of them have never seen real combat. Don't expect the same results next time. Oh, yeah, this was the guy that was, uh... Flashing his teeth at us when we were in the, uh... Was it Sector 8? Sector 1? Saying how much better the cops were than Soldier. <laughs> Boy, did he get proven wrong. Uh, let's see here. We got Shinra Alpha. Does that... Uh... Ooh. Great increase in vitality, but uh, lowers my MP. But that's fine. Use a level up on Cure. Let's uh, trade out Thunder. Or oh, we've already mastered fire. Well, let's keep thunder then. Enemy on the march. Is this our new one? Let's try that one. Oh, probably a side mission. That's okay. Activating combat mode. There we go. Oh, yeah. Result. What do we get? What do we get? Potion. Activating combat mode. So a couple icicles take down the puffers. <laughs> Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Hopefully everybody staying warm too. For us, it was negative eleven Fahrenheit uh, this morning. And it's supposed to get all the way up, and hear me out, to a very, very warm zero Fahrenheit, which is 17 below Activating Celsius. So it's going to be a heat wave today. Oh, yeah. result. I think the warmest we got was negative six uh, Fahrenheit, and I don't know what that translates Activating to combat uh, out of the way. Celsius, but that's the warmest we hit yesterday. <laughs> Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. So hopefully everybody's staying warm because, uh, ugh. That's too cold. Activating combat Bring it mode. on. Break that. Hot. 
Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Just give him a zap. Just give him a good little zappy zap. And we already have a bronze bangle, I think. I think that's what we just uh, upgraded from. Pursue the remnants. We have spotted a detached Wu Tai army unit on the outskirts of Wu Tai. We want to prevent any further incidents from them in an already chaotic political environment. Vanquish them before they make a move. Would I get an elixir from it? I'm down with that. Can I see a map? Ooh, I can. Okay. Activating combat mode. Oh, those ones are weak to fire. I no, they are ice. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Okay, so I feel overpowered for this mission. <laughs> Very underpowered for uh, for Bahamut. If you ever want to visit and experience temperatures designed for living, <laughs> I I appreciate that. It, it does feel, at times, um, quite oppressive, uh, the level of cold that we experience here. <laughs> and likewise, you're, you're always welcome to uh, come experience, you know, what it's like to, uh, to be in an environment that's just wholly uninhabitable. It does feel that way at times. Just, oh man. Oh yeah. Ooh, power Conflict attack. Resolved. Here we go. What do you think? We got a few missions under our belt. We uh, we give uh, Bahamut another go. I say we give it a go. I say we give it a go. Why not? Why not? Activating combat mode. Tank it all, Zach. Oh. Ah! Brace yourself. Let's fight fire with fire. Where were you, Ifrit? I could have used that last time. <laughs> I don't understand how he can hit me from so far away. The AoE on that is ridiculous. Oh, probably didn't need to cure then. again, but that's fine. Bring it All out right. the big guns. Yep. 
that's what I needed to do last time. Prove your honor to me. I got it. <laughs> There we go. Raven, it's okay. We don't we don't mind mutts around here because uh, both Roxy and Lucy are mutts. So even though he's a big pain, we still like Bahama. Can you get another one in? There we go. Twenty-five. That's good. We don't need to witness him kicking my butt again. <laughs> Here we go. AP. There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Cheers. And now we can summon him in battle. Heck yeah. Look at me using. <laughs> he needs some milk. Yeah, he kind of does, doesn't he? That was a rough one for old Bahamut. Uh, we don't need to do that one yet. That's a rank three. I don't think I'm ready for rank three. All right, we should probably go talk to Lazard. The old lizard himself. Now that we got some side missions under our belt. Congratulations. As of this moment, you are promoted to soldier first class. Doesn't he look like Gillian Murphy? Um, or is it Gillian Murphy? Um, who played Scarecrow in the Christopher Nolan Batman. Also... I haven't watched Peaky Blinders, but he's in Peaky Blinders. Yeah. Um, oh, also uh, 28 Days Later, right? Yeah. <laughs> Looks exactly like him. It's uncanny. Huh. I thought I'd be happier. Understandable. Too much happened too fast. Zach. I'm afraid I need your assistance again. Are you pushing another assignment on me? <sighs> My apologies. Whatever. I'll fill you in, Zek. But before that, go to the briefing room and change into a first class uniform. Ooh, we made it. Soldier first class, baby. Are you okay, Fummies? Are you okay? Or were you combining that with Zach? <laughs> no, I was talking about Lazard, the uh, guy with the blonde hair. Looks like, uh... oh, been lurking? 
that's fine. That's fine. I enjoy the lurk. Did you come up with the name for our Twitch baby yet? Ooh, I can now equip six. The combat evaluation is given after each battle. Depending on the results, HP, MP, AP may be restored, so be mindful of your evaluation when fighting. Uh, defeat all enemies without taking damage. Perfect guard against all attacks. Okay, limit finish. Summon finish, magic finish. Cool. Good to know. Yeah, um, Twitch baby, because she is now at 10 months. Uh, and our Twitch baby has gone unnamed for an entire month. Are you Zach? You have my sincere thanks, too, by the way, uh, at 10 months. That is much, much appreciated. In the flash. As soldier first class, you are now authorized to use material <laughs> fusion. <laughs> Yay, soldier first class. Whoa, so what do I do? First, open Boy. the main menu. You Boy. should now be able to Boy. select materia Boy. fusion. <laughs> Boy. Wummies? Wummies? <laughs> that is fun. That is fun. It is a human dog Twitch bot hy hybrid, if that makes any sense. It's what you would call a materia fusion of sorts. <laughs> uh, that was bad. I'm so sorry for that. Now, try fusing these two materia. That should give you a general idea of how the process works. If you have any questions, just let me know. Shame. I deserve that. Shame. I deserve that. Shame. You can now fuse two materia together to make new one new materia. This is called materia fusion. Example of materia fusion: fire, fire plus thunder equals blazara. How does that make any sense? Some materia cannot be created through fusion. <clears throat> materia created through fusion are usually set at level one. But when two of the same materia are, are fused, the higher level will be carried over. When a master level materia is used in fusion, a higher ranking materia may be created. So once you have collected a good amount of materia, you should experiment often. In regards to parameter carryover for materia fusion, the parameter with greater value will be carried over in the fused materia. And 50% of the lesser parameter's value will be added. <clears throat> so Fyra... Uh, plus three and attack up plus two is fire blade magic plus four. Oh, okay. If the parameter values of material one and two are the same, the resulting materia's parameter value will be a set number according to that materia's characteristics. Conversion for. Okay. So, a lot of stuff I probably won't remember, but let's uh, do that and that. And we should get. I would just get a new fire, but it's mastered and it's more powerful. That's fine. Hey, trophy time. Let's do the same with our blizzard. And let's do the same with our thunder. Can we fuse fire? No, wait, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's do a salt twister with a salt twister. Level that thing up. Ooh, HP ups we can put together. Should have waited till those were leveled up more, but that's fine. And we can equip more, which is also nice. Oh, we have to go to equipment to do that. Aha! Fire, and I want HP up. I 
There we go. Nice. There it is. One. Whoa, one, one, one. You made first? <laughs> congrats, Zach. Yeah, congrats, dude. Uh, components other than materia may be added in materia fusion. However, these methods are still undergoing research. <laughs> Okay. Lucy, did you steal Roxy's bed again? Did you steal Roxy's bed again? <laughs> did she kick you out, Roxy? Were you evicted? Were you evicted? Okay, where am I supposed to go? There we go. Ooh, iron bangle. That could be worth it. Could be worth it. This one's going to be pretty straightforward. Get to the mech. Give it all heck. Activating combat mode. Here we go. Combat oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they, uh, they decorated. They were, uh, little bit uh, sparse for decorations in January. So uh, they decided February they were going to show their love for everybody. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Bengal give us better stats. It does not. Alright, let's just uh, do these missions that we have access to and uh, let's see here. Oh, this one's pretty straightforward too. Combat mode. Oh. There we go. playing God of War and Dark Souls this week, uh, this feels a little bit easier. The Fort Tamblin has fallen, but many of their fighters have escaped. They refuse to disarm in an attempt to maintain the resistance. 
Allowing this to continue would only sow chaos. A swift elimination is in order. I'll send in Zack the puppy because uh, he is swift. Activating combat mode. Ooh, I have fire now. Attack. Got him. Conflict resolved. The end. How was that magic finish? are tougher. There I go, doing all this chin wagon. How it's easy. <laughs> Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. Activating combat mode. I pay for hubris. What, no magic finish? Okay. I was going to say. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Got him. Oh, Conflict yeah. Resolved. What does Libra do? What does Libra do? Books, but I'm not much of a reader. Getting Black Reach. Oh, yeah. It has been a while since I played any Skyrim, and I'll be honest, this might be difficult to admit. I have not played all of Skyrim. I'm sorry. I, I I admit it. Everybody has their faults. Enables detection. Oh, cool. So it's kind of like a scan of the uh, enemy. I know, right? So Skyrim hit at a time of my life where I just didn't have time to game. And a friend of mine had it. Uh, for console and I played it a little bit uh, but I just didn't have time to finish it because it's such a big game so maybe maybe that's uh, something I'll play on stream at some point that would be cool you know when it comes out in full 4k I know they have the uh, next gen update for that pretty much right Is there any chest back here? Nope, okay. Activating combat mode. Uh, we'll see. I still have probably this whole year of Final Fantasy to do. <laughs> Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. So I don't know if I it would be quite a while before that. And I have toyed around with, too, just doing just, like, a YouTube uh, series for, like, kind of a bare-bones stream kind of thing. So maybe that's one I'll do over there. I haven't quite decided yet. Activating combat mode. Later! Take that! Hi. Conflict Got resolved. There we 
go. I mean, just straight up disrespecting their staff sergeant right there. Poor dude. Activating combat mode. Was rude. Conflict resolved. There we go. Muscle belt. Hmm. <laughs> what about this muscle belt, do you say? Can we do all the squats now? Let's see. Equipment. Muscle belt. Oh, my attack and vitality go way up, but my magic and spirit take a big dip. Um, ooh, vitality takes a dip. Oh, interesting. Kind of like that, though. We could lean into the uh, the physical attack uh, vitality thing. Let's be a tanky melee build here for for a minute. Rank three, oh, a mute shock. Oh, is that a new weapon? Or just like a weapon ability? I'm pretty sure we're just. Yeah. Activating combat mode. We'll find out. If I live through it. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, these guys are a bit tougher. Take that. Later. I like how those guys were mostly standing by even though they have guns. Take that. I like the uh, gun spear hybrid uh, weapon. That is pretty cool. Oh yeah. It's like it puts the uh, firearms in, in pole arms. So it's like a pole firearms kind of thing. I really dig that a lot. Okay. Let's go this way since it's a dead end. We can probably get uh, treasure out of it. Mm, or not. That's fine. Though. Activating combat mode. Later. Take that. Oh, wow. Big miss. Big miss. Oh yeah. Okay. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Later. Hey, Great Ghost. Welcome in, dude. Good morning. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. I am really, really enjoying Crisis Core. Uh, I was kind of saying this earlier. I think uh, some of the side missions are a bit hollow. Uh, but it well then more than well makes up for it with uh, engaging combat. Activating combat is combat so fun. Bring it on. And hopefully you're doing well, dude. It has been a little bit, so nice to see you. Maybe we get a call in the airstrike, I think. You're in for it now. Here we go. Is this the end? 
No, not if I can help it. I'm just going to ignore the logistics of that. <laughs> and how that's possible. To bomb a bunker from the air. Oh, hey. Out of the way. Later. Take that. Got him. Here we go. Yep, aliens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll blame it on the aliens. Okay. Potion. That's good. I think we might have missed something back this way. Because we didn't go down this hallway before. Activating combat mode. Bring it on! Hey! Later! Oh, no AP cost. Take that! Oh, we almost got a summon during that battle. Maybe we should have just let it go. Elixir. Nice. That was worth it. It was definitely worth the backtracking. So, Materia. Okay, so we don't have to worry about equipping summons in this one. They just become part of the DMW. Wheel. So it's all a chance at that point. Activating combat mode. Got him. Take that. There we go. Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. Lots of experience here. Activating combat mode. Take a longer one. I see why they put this as a rank three. Better run for it. Is this the end? Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Is the right way. Activating combat mode. Take that. Conflict resolved. Nice. Combat mode. Ooh, lots of dudes. Later. Warm ups over. Hey, lots of limit Prove breaks, too. Oh to my gosh. I got it. Gosh, look at that. All the damage. Oh, yeah. Complete result. New power attack leveled up, too. Nice. Okay, let's take a peek. I think that was. Uh... Oh, not a materia. So what is Mute Shock, then? Uh, boost attack and magic, add silence to attack. Ooh. Nice. And it uh, also 
gives us attack and magic up. Let's see if it does better. Yeah, it's going to replace uh, Shinra Alpha. I'm going to lose some vitality on that, but that's, that is cool. Uh, let's see here. So here's one complaint I have with the game. Um... This is an official notification of the change in status for the following personnel. Angeal Hewling, Soldier First Class, Killed in Action. Genesis Rhapsodus, Soldier First Class, Killed in Action. But they weren't, though. Did you play this back on PSP, Grey Ghost? Uh, this remaster is so good. My one complaint is it it's difficult to track missions in this, it feels like. That's my only complaint. Whoa! Yeah, official Shinra. Hey now, are you sure you know enough about Materia Fusion? Yeah, I got it. I got it. So that's all I had to do? Materia right. fusion is still in some combination. That's why we want you to experiment. And if you make a new discovery, let us know. Alright, so that's all I had to do. <laughs> changing? Yeah, and I picked up materia fusion too. Then return to my office. I'll brief you on the mission. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. Yeah, but if it's official Shinra, then you know, you know it's true. You know it's true. All right. Oh, Hunzo, uh, Genesis, KIA? Yeah, right. Who do they think they're trying to fool? Just got back from seeing the stage production of Loveless in Midgar. Genesis was a big fan, wasn't he? I usually don't care for classic drama. But it was pretty damned good. The guy is a hero in the original, but the play was more from the viewpoint of the girl who helps the guy. When I heard the last line, of course, I'll come back to you. Even if you don't promise to wait, I'll return knowing that you'll be there. Aw oh, man, that's when I lost it and just started bawling. It's okay, Kunzel. Uh, I do the same. I'm a weepy boy these days. I never used to cry at movies or games or anything uh, in my youth, during middle school, high school, any of that. Um, college, I started to, but man, anymore, I am just, I am so emo. <laughs> I cry at the littlest things in TV shows and movies now. The company has decided to eliminate Genesis and his cohorts. This includes Angeal as well. And you want me to do it? No. The Shinra army will handle it. What about me? They don't trust you. They believe your emotions will hamper your judgment. Well, of course! That's why I'm going too. To kill them? I don't like Sephiroth's smile right there. An intruder. Where? It was a little, a uh, little bit sus. Sephiroth, the president. Zach, entrance. Yeah, you got it. All right, we're gonna hit a save real quick. Used to be such a hard-faced. Oh boy, I don't have my chocobo sensor. That's what I forgot to do this morning. That's what I forgot to do this morning. I used to be such a hard face, and then I had a child, and now I cry at everything. <laughs> vulnerability is also strength, and the ability to show uh, your vulnerabilities when necessary, uh, a big strength. Yeah. 
it is a big strength, believe it or not. What the? It stopped? Yeah, let's look around. Hey, Spytech, welcome in. Good to see you. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Big cheers to you. Good to see you. Well, now I need to change my text tone. Uh, oh, the saving ring. Yeah. Soldiers here. Thank I can, uh, if you can't find it, Grey Ghost, let me know. And I can send you MP3 of that. Hurry up and deal with that. That? Whoa, what is this? Activating combat mode. Don't want to watch much because I haven't played this yet, but I'll be uh, a bit around. Hey, if you need to lurk to avoid spoilers, uh, feel free to do that. That is uh, uh, much appreciated. Uh, but good to see you, Spy Tech. Also, good morning, Blue Cat. How are you doing? Good morning, good morning. Conflict oh, resolved. Yeah. Ooh, no damage. Oh, nice. Thank you. What was that? What? You don't know? That was an intruder neutralization mech. So why was it attacking employees? It just went berserk. For reasons unknown. For reasons unknown. So deal with them. But I'm doing wonderful I was today. Ordered to go to the entrance. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing well. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. It is good to see you. Uh, let's see. Hey, you all right? Hey, you all right? <sighs> Behind you. Behind you. Huh? <sighs> Activating combat mode. Later. I'm starting to think that doing side missions got me a little over leveled here. But I guess I'm okay with that. Thank you. I was close. Did that mech injure you? Yeah. Pathetic, right? A soldier member getting bested by that thing? Hey, even soldier members have their bad days. Well, this is actually one of my better days. Oh. <laughs> I'm uh, really not that good at fighting. You're a soldier. Suck it up. If you're bad at something, train harder. I'm sorry. I'll be going now for you. Oh, Zach. Naive enough to think uh, if you work hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always the case, dude. I'm tired. I'm not usually awake at 6 a.m. Uh, we'll be taking my dog. Aw. Well, uh, wishing your pupper the very best today and also the uh, quickest and healthiest of recoveries. Um, can we get some hearts in chat for uh, Blue Cat's uh, dog, please? Uh, what kind of dog um, is it? And uh, I don't know if I've asked you what your dog's name is. Um uh, but definitely Roxy and Lucy are wishing your dog the very best today. They are already uh, have had their spaying situations. Uh, so they know what it's like. <laughs> they know what it's like. Little sleepy girls. They send all the hearts. Fuse anything cool. Would it be worth doing? Nah. Okay. Uh, soldier points can also be acquired by converting unneeded materia. When you acquire materia after reaching the maximum stock, 
newly uh, acquired materia are immediately lost, so it is best to convert materia you don't need in SP beforehand. Perform SP conversion, go to materia from the main menu. Uh, three quarter Dachshund and uh, one quarter Chihuahua. And her name is Jade. Aw, well, we're wishing Jade the very, very best today, Blue Cat. I'm, I'm sure that things will go smoothly, but uh, wishing her the very best. It's cool, Bus. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome on in. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Doing absolutely wonderful today. Uh, despite how chilly it is around here, and I know you're in a similar region, so hopefully you're staying warm, my friend. Am I back down the music volume on this again? Just a tiny bit? It is so good, though. But it is uh, crazy loud on my side. <laughs> Yeah, it was a uh, negative uh, 11 here when I woke up. I don't even know what it is now. What is it now? In Fahrenheit, we are at negative 9. So we're warming up. We are warming up. And we're supposed to hit above freezing this weekend, which is uh, insane. Uh, above freezing would be real nice. Near 50 there? Oh, dude. Send some this way. <laughs> Grey Ghost, uh, you gotta send some this way. Oh, we gotta go in there, right? Uh oh. Scream? Is someone in there? Thank you. Thank you, Grey Ghost. I appreciate that. <gasps> I'm coming! Stay back! Activating combat mode. The end. Oh, almost got no damage. But I got a little overzealous. Oh yeah! You're not with Soldier, right? What are you doing here? Uh, uh, well, the science department reserved the training room for the day. <laughs> and I was just doing some maintenance. Maintenance, huh? All right, you got me. I was slacking. Stop victim blaming, Zach. <laughs> Can you keep this between us, please? Thank you. Please take this. Ah, so they came down to the training room to, uh... Zach, where are you? Oh, director. Do some I'm making out. Floor. Head to the entrance ASAP. We've been massively compromised. Massively? All right, I'm on it. Good luck. Cats are not liking not having their food dishes out because, oh, my dogs would do that too. Like at friends' places... Uh, Roxy has a tendency to eat their cat food. Yeah. That is tough. Let's see here. Let me save again. Here we go. Get back on that elevator, Zach. Oh, yeah. We have been massively compromised. Why are Shinra weapons attacking the Shinra building? Is this Genesis is doing? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Damn, they're swarming us. Activating combat mode. Nope, nope, not good. 
Yeah, no MP cost? I'm gonna spam that. Don't spam a heal. limit break, hopefully. Mastered up our thunder, which is really good. Really, really good. Oh. Sephiroth, the intruders are Genesis copies. There's no doubt. This is Hollander's doing. Who is that? A Shinra scientist who stole the copy tech, then vanished. Are you saying that this Hollander and Genesis are working together? Quite possibly. <laughs> oh, Zach. Do you know what they're <laughs> planning? Hollander sought to head the science department and lost. He's borne a grudge against Shinra ever since. He wants revenge. So petty. And Genesis is supporting the stupid cause? I don't want to believe it. Well, then don't. Agreed. Now, Zack. Copies have been sighted in Sector 8 as well. Let's go. Oh, Sephiroth. The prettiest mullet that the world has ever seen. Because it is a little bit long in the front, but it is definitely way longer in the back. Uh, and I can't unsee that. Now that I've said it out loud, I can't unsee that Sephiroth has the most beautiful mullet in all of creation. <laughs> this is bad. We should split up. Good call. Hold on, I'm a coming. <laughs> yep. Sector eight is Turk's jurisdiction. Slick. Oh, Brino. And rude. Cool. Oh, and Sung. You gotta be kidding me, Sung. Do something. There's no need for concern. Huh? Okay. The other areas. Midgar's just crawling with nasties. Soldiers having difficulties. Reno, rude. Just say the word. Go. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so now we're outsourcing to the Turks. Soldiers being stingy. There's a manpower shortage. Duh. You're a Turk too? I'm Sisney. I'm Zach. Pleasure oh. to meet you. Zach. I don't know Aren't this character. <laughs> Same objective. Need some help here? I appreciate the offer. Oh, but... how generous. <laughs> well, Sung, Zach, I gotta go. Sisne has been added to the DMW. A new limit break. Very cool. So she's original character to this game then? Second best girl? Who who's your uh, your first best girl? Hollander. Ray Ghost. If you find him, detain him. Reno and Rude will go that way. Okay. Okay. Activating combat mode. Hot. Oh, I inflicted silence. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'm 
Big Tifa fanboy? Me too. I, I waver uh, between Tifa and Aerith. I'm very excited for Traces of Two Pasts, which is the book um, that goes into some backstory and more lore for both Tifa and Aerith. It was supposed to come out in November of 22, and then it got delayed to January of 23, and now it's supposed to be released in March of 23. Uh, so we'll see when that actually gets released. Um, but it's by the same scenario writer that did On the Way to a Smile, and the kids are all right. So uh, main scenario writer on a lot of the original Final Fantasy VII stuff. I think if I'm pronouncing the name right, Katsushige Nojima or Nojima. I'm very excited for that book to come out. Activating combat mode. That was kind of an awkward transition to battle. Oh yeah. Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. You saved me. Oh, yeah. Those masked guys causing all that havoc? I think I saw their leader just now. He's up ahead on this street. I'd stay clear if I were you. That is a token of gratitude. Hey, thank you. Thanks for the earrings, dude. Yeah, I started reading uh, On the Way to a Smile as a as an audiobook format that I released a couple episodes out on my YouTube channel. Uh, I need to record uh, more because I've only read through the uh, episode Denzel on that. Uh, personally, I haven't got through the whole book yet, but I've read through the next two episodes. Uh, so good. So I need to schedule a recording of those. But uh, episode Tifa and episode Barrett are so, so good. And it does such a good job framing and setting up uh, the transition between the main game and Advent Children. Activating combat mode. Ah! Ah! Conflict resolved. There we go. Oh yeah. Just up ahead, a really cool older girl came and saved me. <laughs> but bad guys with big weapons came too. That young lady gave us time to escape by charging out alone. Please, mister, I'll give you my favorite treasure. So please, help that girl. Aww. Yes, please. Thank you. Everyone's hero. Saved everyone calling for help. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, it does help fill in those gaps and also kind of round out those characters uh, a lot more. Um, and it's so heartfelt, too. Uh, I think I cried probably a, a few times while reading uh, each episode, really. It is really, really good. And Cisne has some uh, some real Yuffie energy going on. Genesis. Was this actually Genesis? The copies. Activating ah. combat mode. Hey. <laughs> Not completely easy, but definitely manageable. <laughs> Thanks for the puppy cam. Looks like Lucy is uh, just living the best life at the moment. <laughs> Oh my goodness, dog. She sleeps on her back the most out of any dog I've ever seen. Oh, 
the soundtrack is so good. Oh. Time to clip the wings. When I was a kid, I always wanted to have wings. You know, like an angel. If people had wings, they'd be monsters. Wings symbolize freedom for those who have none. They don't symbolize monsters. <laughs> Interesting. It's a good take on it. Impressive, soldier first class. You've got skill. Well, unlike the Turks, fighting's our main thing. Here, a little gift for helping me out. Mail address for research department QMC obtained. A new shop is available. All right then, I'm off to the next job. You've got something too, right? Yeah, I do. Until we meet again. Once Sector 8 is clear, come to Mako Reactor 5. Ooh. Did you find something out? Angeo has been sighted. <sighs> so it's search and destroy? The army is mobilizing, but there's still time. You and I will find them before they we do. And nice. And what? Fail. To eliminate them. For real? <laughs> yes. For real. Awesome! We're gonna fail! <laughs> oh. I love that. Uh, I need to... Uh, I need to save that. I need that. I need that quote. <laughs> awesome! We're gonna fail! Alright, we'll go a little bit further here. Uh, I'm not sure how long this section is going to take. Um, so we'll get as far as we can before we uh, before we cut off stream here. Yeah, right? <laughs> awesome, we're going to fail. I love it. I absolutely love it. Activating combat mode. Complete result. Is that Aunt Jill's face? That's not creepy at all. It appears Genesis isn't the only one who can be copied. The company training room. Hmm? We used to sneak in there for fun when the seconds were out. Genesis, Angeal, and I. You guys were pretty tight. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. AJ, welcome in, dude. Been lurking while I get ready for work, and happy Final Fantasy Friday to you, too. Good morning. Infinite in mystery is the gift of the goddess. We seek it thus and take to the sky. Ripples form on the water's surface. The wandering soul knows no rest. Loveless, Act One. <laughs> you remember. How can I not, when you've beaten it into my head? <laughs> Don't take Sephiroth lightly. <laughs> Noted. Ah! 
I love just how absolutely menacing he is uh, with how graceful his combat is. It's one thing I've always really liked about Sephiroth's character. He just seems so sinister because his combat was so graceful. <laughs> is that the best you can do? All hail Sephiroth, huh? Angeal, stay back. Ooh. I'll take Sephiroth alone. Genesis. The world needs a new hero. <laughs> Come and try. So smug. But for how long? <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. Stop! You'll destroy this place. <clears throat> That's no way to talk to a hero! <laughs> of my way! Genesis! Just a scrape. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Even if tomorrow is barren of promises, nothing shall forestall my return. Amazing. Amazing, man. So, I had goosebumps. Was everything all right? Yes. As far as Genesis was concerned. But as for Angeal. Angeal? What happened? Later, I received one of his famous lectures. <laughs> About what? Always the same. Discipline, dreams, honor, etc. <laughs> one of those, huh? <laughs> so it's true. They're in league with Hollander. How could this happen? Exactly, Raven. I agree. I completely agree with you. That could have went on for a whole other half hour, and I just would have been totally engrossed. <laughs> Angeal, what are you up to? Where you say are you're from you? Tucson, but you talk all fancy and Europe-like. This is the way we talk in Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> That's how we talk, Strufty. In Tucson, Arizona. 
All right, let's hit up our save. I love that. Absolutely love that scene. It is so good. Oh, man. <laughs> I think I might have to end it there. I do have to be at work on time today, so I will find somebody for us to raid out to. Shrufty, you're just in time. <laughs> Um, I take it you've already dropped Daisy off at daycare, so definitely uh, wish her our best today. Uh, in between computers as I do work, I'm actually doing work for Jess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, just in time to say goodbye. Yeah, good morning, Hegel. Good to see you. Good to see you. If you all don't mind hanging out for the raid, that would be awesome. Uh, let's get you some background music here as we... Uh, Get ready to raid out. Let's see. Return to title screen. Sure. Let's do that. Hey, Sunbro. Welcome in. <laughs> welcome in, Sunbro. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome on in. We're just about ready to raid out, but uh, nice to see you around here. All right. Who's online today? Who is online? My gosh, that scene was amazing. I'm probably going to have to rewatch that multiple times. That was just so good. <laughs> so very good. Also, um, I'm going to say this again. Uh, go say hello to Plummies uh, next time she's live. Much, much appreciated for 10 months of support. I uh, just can't get over that. Uh, thank you very, very, very much. Uh, let me get a raid message going as well, and I will give you some puppy cam while we're getting ready to raid out. Sunbro, if you haven't met my puppy dogs, uh, they are Roxy, the Jack Russell on the right, who is 13 years old, and Lucy is a four-year-old Shih Tzu on the left. They've switched spots. <laughs> They're keeping me on my toes today. Keeping me on my toes today. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, we can definitely get one of those before we raid out. Let me find a raid target first and get our raid message ready. Um, you know, we're going to go over to Prince Leo, uh, who is also playing Crisis Core. He's a bit ahead of where I'm at, so we're going to do a strategic uh, a raid there so we don't get spoiled. So that is going to be our raid target. And let me get you the raid messages here. Oh, yeah. Lucy knows. She's watching me like a hawk, man. <laughs> Watch me like a hawk. So we're going to do... Uh, Wooly, you be my Valentine raid. And I need to get these programmed in. I have been so bad at that. I have been so bad at that. And uh, non-subs, let me hit you up with a raid message, too. Uh, let's see here. That. All right. Almost ready. Bear with me here. Bear with me here. There we go. Non-subs, there's your raid message, too. Now that we've got that all figured out, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to Prince Leo. So in case you get lost in the raid, which has been happening a lot lately, uh, you'll know where to find us. So that's where we're heading over to Prince Leo, who does an awesome Squall cosplay. And I believe he is doing that at uh, KetsuCon. And he's going to a couple of uh, cons soon. So uh, be sure to look out for his uh, Instagram. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of pictures of that. Are you, are you ready for a treat? <laughs> Roxy, you are sleeping on the job. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. There's our treats. There's our treats. Mattis, thank you for the treats, dude. <laughs> Good 
Good puppy dogs. Good puppy dogs. They're all about those treats this morning. DJ Wife, welcome in. Thank you all for joining today, too, by the way. Uh, thank you for the lurks. Thank you for the resub from Pwemis. Thanks, everybody, for just uh, just hanging out. It was a, a fun, fun time getting back into uh, Final Fantasy Friday. And you even get some complimentary back scritches from Lucy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. My goodness. My goodness. So Katie, Maddest, Pwummies, Hegel, Strufty, Sunbro, uh, Blue Cat, AJ, School Bus, Grey Ghost, Raven. Um, I'm sure I'm missing somebody. I'm sure I'm missing somebody. Spy Tech. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Um, Prince Leo's still on a starting soon, so we're going to just hang here with the puppies for a little bit, if that's all right with all of you. <laughs> yeah. She is working that treat off. <laughs> it's an appetizer, because their, uh, their breakfast is coming their way soon. <laughs> So I think they appreciate the appetizer. Thank you very, very much for that, Mattis Dog. Much, much appreciated, my friend. <laughs> Top drawer weekend. Uh, may your uh, kills be swift and many. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Hopefully everybody has an awesome weekend coming up. And also uh, an awesome month. We're just kicking into February. Hopefully you had a great Final Fantasy VII week too as uh, Final Fantasy VII turned 26 this week. And they have now an official holiday in Japan of Final Fantasy VII Day, which is the release date of the game back in 1997, January 31st. So that was the Eastern release, the Japan-only release of uh, Final Fantasy VII wasn't released in the western uh part of the parts of the world until uh i think it was august or october somebody better correct me on that i know it's one or the other uh and fun fact they didn't have uh emerald and ruby weapon all the big uh optional bosses in the original release it wasn't until uh, later when they did the uh international and western releases that they did finally get the uh super bosses a little fun fact in case you didn't know that the original version did not have uh and if i'm not mistaken it didn't have um knights of the round i could be mistaken on that somebody better correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> but pretty cool stuff pretty cool stuff anyway uh let's just go ahead and send the raid over uh he's been live for about 12 minutes so i'm guessing he's going to be uh live here really soon so let me hit that shout out again real quick so you know where we're going emerald absolutely decimated me back in the day aj and i didn't finally beat emerald until my adult life um what was it four years ago 2019 i finally beat emerald and ruby after they had been hanging over my head and uh, absolutely uh were rough parts of my childhood because it just uh you go up against them thinking, oh, it's just another boss, right? No, it is not just another boss. <laughs> that is fair, Hegel. That is fair. If you cast Knights of the Round on December 1st um, at whatever time, it'll uh, finish right at New Year's. <laughs> Got to remember that for, for next year. All right, there's uh, there's Prince Leo. That's uh, where we're gonna be raiding. Raid messages again for subs and our non-sub friends. Here you go. You're not left out. We got you covered. We got you covered here. All right, let me kick this raid off. And Mattis, thank you very much for the puppy treats. Thank you very very much. Thank you all for joining this morning. It's been a lot of fun. All right, Mini Crazy, just in time for the raid. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hopefully you have a great weekend. 
take care of yourselves okay stay hydrated uh don't stay up too late okay don't stay up too late stay hydrated stay caffeinated if you need to take care of each other that's very important this time of year be be some of that extra sunshine in someone's life and uh we'll catch you next week for dark souls 3 where we'll pick up with more uh daisy our main character on dark souls 3 until then my friends have a wonderful wonderful weekend big cheers happy final fantasy friday Thank you.